Right, this is uh, this is Dark Paladin 111, and I'm about to do my first Let's Play of Shaman King Master of Spirits 2. And um, I think CVC 1000's already done it, but because it's my first Let's Play, I just wanted to uh, start with a game I liked. And um, right, a couple of things. First, the sound. There probably won't be any sound effects from the game for at least my first couple of videos because I'm having some problems, so I've got to use a crappy mic. And also, when I get angry at games, I tend to get sweary. I, I tend to shout and swear a lot, so might be warned about that if you're offended by stuff. Right. Let's do some normal. Uh, I'm going to skip this cutscene. Alright, we've got Yo and Amina Maru. Yo, Dolby Village seems rather peculiar today. Something's not right. Yeah, it looks like everyone just took off. I wonder what happened. Seek! Allow me to explain. Seek! The soul hunt. My spirit of fire has devoured each and every soul here. Oh, Yo decides to be a dickhead and do a celestial slash. I'd really like him to consume yours as well, yo. But it's not time yet. I need you to be stronger, my brother. Dot, dot, dot. That's some good dialogue. Master Zeke, Master Zeke, much time. He ought to go in. Of course, Ohacho. Let's go. The fire three. Lucius, you have to learn to relax. You need to be on guard all the time. Ha! Well, that was an interesting first scene, wasn't it? So basically, we've got Yo, our main character. He's a shaman, people who can talk and control spirits. He, uh, his spirit is a Midamaru. There you are. And uh, he lives. He was a famous Japanese samurai, but uh, he was always thought to be an evil person because he'd like killed all the king's bodyguards. But it's because the king would like not. I think it was something like that, and it was the king who wouldn't let like his people eat or something. Oh, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've read or watched it. But uh, the bloke we saw at the beginning who broke his sword is uh, Zeke, who in the first game and the anime is basically an evil goit who uh, likes. To, he wa he wants to get rid of all normal humans, so it's just shamans in the world. But Yo and his friends try to stop him. But uh, it's all pretty good. It's a good thing. But see, the point of this game is what we'll do. What you do is you go through fighting all these enemies. It's not. It's a normal sort of side-scrolling adventure-style game. But with a twist is that. Well, I suppose like uh, Aria of like uh, Aria of Sorrow or whatever the whatever you call it for uh, Castlevania. You collect souls and can use them. Like when you start off. You only have a Midamaru soul, there we go, and it lets you do Halo Bump, which is just the basic powerful slice that does more than your best combo, because at every stage of the comp free hit combo gets more powerful, but and it's pretty much just to be used when you're in trouble, when you hit multiple people. But uh, as you progress, you will get more souls. To be honest, I find you never really want to unequip a Midamaru because he's probably the strongest one. Well, not the strongest, but most versatile. Some you'll get who are just quite pathetic souls. They're really, really weak. But some people like them, and that's fair enough, you know. If you like it, if you if it works in your tactics, that's cool. But for me, I normally use a Midamaru, and well, towards the beginning, I use a Midamaru and Mash. I'll show you Mash in a little while if we get if we get that far. Oh look, here's your first one, Magnoscope. But because you haven't uh, got any of his equipment, like his sandals or his wrist gloves, you can't equip any of them yet. Well, you can, but you'd have to get rid of using a Midamaru. And considering how good a Midamaru is at this point, I really wouldn't want to get rid of him. But uh, so we open a chest, we get some stuff. I like the fact that uh, anyone who's just left the chest around, you know, putting their safe belongings in, Yo's just going around stealing it all. So there you are. But, uh, yeah, so as you go through the game... Ah, shit. Most of the uh, spirits uh, only have one form. 
but some of the more prominent ones in the uh, like anime will have two forms like you get uh, you start off by just getting the spirit which normally the base the, uh, the ones from the TV shows the main characters they uh, help you solve puzzles like some let you jump high or grapple hook but you like see this chest one of them lets you push this chest so you can get up here but um, and what they do but when you pick up you can pick up their second forms like one of them which lets us push that chest normally you just summon the spirit himself but when you get his uh, like what he puts his essence into which is a sword a wooden sword he can then become bigger and more powerful See, normally you, at best you have one or two of that you have two of them but Amidamaru has three because we get the sword of light which Yo broke at the beginning we get that back but we also get the antiquity but I'll talk about that when we actually get there this ah uh, Magatama bead just basically you know your traditional get a few of these to get more health so we're stealing some more money big coffin doing a halo bump see ah shit See, this game is, you know, pretty much all based on numbers sort of thing. Oh, and we got... Oh, Kunta. See, I have never used this soul. I just... Let's have a look. What we got here? Yeah, deck one, deck two. Let's see, what does it do? Attack with a shower of white paint. See, I've never found that particularly useful. Look, wait. See, it's terrible damage. Whereas, if we just switch back to Amidamaru quickly, that did about four and took us three goes to kill a dog. Right, let's see. This, yep. One hit, Amidamaru kills a skeleton. I'm going to go with Amidamaru. <laughs> but, so, yeah, the uh, this game's pretty good, you know. Standard scroll around puzzle sort of solving game. Kind of like Castlevania series, but... You'd think that wouldn't be anything special, so why would they probably make a second one like this one instead of just staying with the first? Well, they see, they sort of had a bad run with uh, Shaman King games because the first one, well, the first couple, were sort of Pokemon style, and that, like, you collected the spirits and used them as you do in Pokemon, which wouldn't have been so bad except for the fact that, at least in Pokemon, if you summon, like, I don't know, a Salamander or whatever it's called anymore, <laughs> and like do a flamethrower you actually get like a flame animation whereas in this any move you ever did all it, the sprite of the like um of the spirit just shook it just shook on the spot that was it right i think we're coming up to uh the first boss this time yep this is uh this is yo's dad but you don't learn that till quite late in the anime dad what are you doing here 